This is the Micro Homily for the 9th of September. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. Someone who is a well-fed, rich, contented celebrity has to face a danger that a hungry, poor, grieving nobody doesn't have. The danger of deluding oneself into thinking that this world provides for all that you need and all you will ever need. The disciples Jesus speaks to who are in the poor, hungry, grieving nobody group, he calls blessed because they won't be taken in by that delusion. They'll continue to strive, not for earthly gratifications, but for eternal joys. It's a similar dynamic in the first reading. Scripture scholars who've reconstructed the questions that must have been in the letter Paul was answering tell us that there were two groups, one saying Christians must not get married, another saying Christians must get married. And they wanted Paul to give a ruling from God which of them was right. Well, he wouldn't do it, but instead he gives his own reflections. And among those reflections, that a person who isn't intent on pleasing their partner may have more capacity free to spend it pleasing God. Now we know that for many people the married state does bring contentment and joy, but it must never bring complacency. Many married people listening to this are probably saying fat chance. Whether we're married or single, our focus as disciples of Jesus is not on the gratifications of earthly life, but on the eternal joys of being Jesus' faithful disciples.